So, on November 17th, uh, 2022, Bungie came out with a rather lengthy TWAB. Usually I just go over some of the finer points as they tend not to be overly interesting as far as today's topic, uh, specifically Crucible. We typically get information about nerfs and buffs to armor and guns and fixes, you know, 0.2% damage increase to this, extend duration of that, you know, we've heard it all ad nauseum. This one, however, caught my eyes and it could be a game changer. You know, for good or for bad, we will find out. But this is the first time in ages that Bungie has gone this in depth with addressing the Crucible and the future. I want to really dig into this and get your feedback and opinions on how the proposed changes will affect you, if at all. You know, I didn't want to do a knee-jerk reaction video. I thought this deserved an actual discussion. Essentially, in this section, Bungie breaks down their thoughts, comparisons, and views on Casual Crucible, Iron Banner, Trials of Osiris, Ranked Play, and uh, Private Matches. Now, for me, and please let me know your thoughts on this, I think PvP should be an inherent environment of fair play. No matter how high the stakes are and... and you know, fairness should always be paramount. Now, I may differ than some of you here, but I've always looked at casual crucible, mostly control, and iron banner as sort of the same level of friendly casual competition. You know, not too much at stake, complete, you know, some task, and eventually you'll get you know, the pinnacle rewards. Nothing really earth shattering if you miss it, but a good way to level up every season. Trials of Osiris and ranked play, you know, comp. For me, this is what gets my blood flowing. I enjoy the higher stakes and true competitive feeling to these playlists. Survival gets, you know, an honorable mention here as I view that as sort of a practice version for what you will run into in Trials and Comp. I don't really do private matches per se, but if I want to check out a map, you know, that's coming up in Trials, then I'll hop in there for a little bit. This is where it gets going. Uh, for those of you who want to get rid of skill-based matchmaking, sorry, still going to be here. But as you know, Bungie will always reserve the right to change their mind. Uh, for the ease of this discussion, we're just going to refer to acronyms for each of the following. SBMM, you already know. CBMM, Connection-Based Matchmaking. And TBMM, Ticket-Based Matchmaking. So, Quick Play, C 6v6, and Iron Banner uh, will be using loose SBMM. That means clashing control will be quite interesting as I'm sure community feedback will be high. Uh, we already have it now, but I have a feeling that the tuning might change from what's currently in place. Crucible Labs, uh, Momentum Control, Mayhem, Team Scorched, Rift and Rumble will have CBMM. Crucible Labs will also have a stacking 25% reputation bo boosters. Um, private matches will remain unaffected. Trials is using TBMM and will still have the flawless pool. Not a perfect solution, but it exists. And don't forget that when Trials and Iron Banner are active, the Crucible Director will look markedly different than it does now. Um, given all of these upcoming changes, how much will they impact what you play and how you play now? Uh, what's your go-to game mode? Is it just to chill by yourself or with your friends or with your friends in a clan? You know, that kind of thing. Um, you can see the population activity analytic is that Bungie provided right here. Uh, where do you fall in that? Say hello to more grind in the form of a new title to chase, along with the usual seasonal titles. If that's your thing, well there it is. I used to be more of a completionist myself, and when titles first came out, they were fresh, uh, new, and more frankly, they had more gravitas. Now, they're just more watered down than anything. Um, if they have a cool sounding or interesting name, you know, I may try to grind one out, but now in general, I, I can't be bothered. I'd be happier if they address cheaters, you know, big popular streamers, big and small, uh, do some name and shame, but that's a video for another day. Fireteam based matchmaking, uh, FBMM, I think I left that one out, is going to be something that's introduced in Season 19. Uh, Bungie explains it as your fireteam's makeup should match your opponents. Uh, if you go in as a full squad of six, then generally, generally, you should match up against another full squad of six generally uh, sometimes it could be a team of four plus uh, what a team of or a two person squad etc uh, they go on to briefly list the potential combinations um, my question to you on this is isn't this something that's in the game currently in some form right no um, you know go in the comments let me know if I'm right wrong whatever 
Um, Bungie says that they can make uh, the FEMM as loose or as strict as they want to. Um, so they're going to manipulate the hell out of that. Um, naturally, it's your game, you know, after all. So, yeah, Bungie, we expect that of you. Um, Bungie has also decided to address the quarter suspension penalty by saying that they're lowering the amount of time uh, players will be suspended for quitting in the quick playlist. I imagine that they saw a significant number of players quitting and affecting the population list in quick play, um, along with players vociferously complaining about getting bad connections and having to endure a penalty because of it. Now this is where the rubber meets the road. Uh, the glory playlist basically fell off and was left for dead after pinnacle weapons like Luna, Not Forgotten, and Recluse were shelved, discarded, and sunset. Uh, there's no real reward for playing in this playlist other than for a challenge. Survival essentially does the same thing at this point, and you don't have to worry about losing rank for not playing it enough. This too is now going by the wayside and being replaced with a ranked 3v3 playlist complete with 7 divisions, each with 3 subdivisions. Uh, the divisions are Copper, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Adept, and Ascendant. You know, I actually think this would be a you know pretty popular playlist for the initial launch, and it has potential as long as the maps are decent and the rewards are good. When you first go into the playlist, you're going to get sorted into your division by getting uh, skill tested during your first seven matches. Once you get that sorted out, you're placed in your division. For the inaugural season, the highest division you can get tested into is Gold 3. The parameter for your rating is match outcome, match performance, division inflation slash deflation, and player to lobby skill delta, which is basically, you know, how your skill compares to everyone in the match. So winning, playing well, and how your skill fits in the division you are currently in all factors into ranking up or down. Um, we're going to have to earn our keep in this playlist to, get, playlist to get rewards, which sounds like they're going to um, be giving, you know, that stuff out with a thimble. Uh, they're going to go back to at least initially to the model where you have to, you know, have the skill to get into a higher division to get the better or faster rank ups. Uh, crucible engrams, you know, resets and extra perks on weapons, that sort of thing. Um, the higher you ascend on the ladder, the better, obviously. Um, you can read the full twab, you know, for the divisions and their multipliers. Um, so you, you're not going to get any more participation trophies, so get off that bandwagon. Um, you know, time to get good if you want those benefits. Yeah, I said it, time to get good, but I'm not being toxic, okay? I'm just joking around here. Um, so, basically, let me know your thoughts, your reactions to the upcoming changes. Do you like them? Do you hate them? You know, what would you do differently? You know, any solutions you might have. You know, as I said in the beginning of the video, let's have a discussion about this. You know, let's try to figure this out together, see where we all lie. And um, again, I thank you. It's your time. And I thank you for sharing it with me. Have a great day, evening, or night, wherever you are.